Greetings, friends. Hope this finds you well. Today I'm going to be talking about my new gaming table. This is the Origins gaming table from Game Theory Tables. They've been around for a while. They've mostly been making gaming card, like card type gaming tables, poker gaming tables, things like that. And this is the first uh, board gaming table that they've made. It's got this vaulted uh, play space, like four inches uh, deep, that you could set up a game, cover it up with a top, and then come back and finish up later. Uh, this was initially a Kickstarter, but I waited until it went to production before I made the investment because it was a, a significant investment. So I'm going to be talking about all of that and going through everything today. As you can see here, this is well packaged, comes on a single skid. It's like a, an extra long skid. Um, I did order the, the, the top, the matching tabletop. So that came as well. And then the big box on the bottom here is the actual game table. So it's pre-assembled. So it's got all of the side rails and the bottom piece. And then you have to attach the legs and then put the insert into the middle and then the neoprene mat. Here I'm unboxing all of those pieces and getting ready for assembly. This comes in three finishes. I had the Greystone, which is gray. We have an Onyx, which is a black, uh, an American Walnut, and then also a new color, which is like a natural finish that was not available when I ordered mine, but they do have that now. The top and the caps for the legs have magnets in them so that they will hold each other in place, which is nice. And then here you see the diagram, uh, they sit for assembly, and it has the uh, configuration for USB. So some of the legs have A, some of the legs have B because they have holes in them and mounts to mount the optional USB charging system, which I did not buy. I definitely recommend having some help with assembly, uh, especially because they recommend that you put the legs on uh, on the side like this before you stand it up. So it's much easier having someone help. There are two bolts that go into each of the rails, so four total per leg. And then they go into a metal uh, housing that's threaded. So it's not going into the wood itself, it's going into a piece of metal that's embedded into the wood. There's a little bit of play in there so that you can help uh, line the legs up a little bit. And you'll see one of the issues I had is uh, with the alignment and I had to go back and correct that. There's also um, some holes on the end of the legs so on the inside there's a hole there's like two holes in each one and apparently that's for a riser kit so if you want to make this like a more of like a standing height bar height table you can buy that riser kit that's the way it was explained to me i wish they would give you plugs to plug those so that if you weren't using that you didn't see them but not a big deal and then there's like a piece of mdf that goes in there uh then this is what you put the neoprene mat on and the neoprene mats are really nice uh, I do think they're about a half an inch too wide and a half an inch too long because they curl up in the corners and on the edges. Um, I actually complained about this and they sent me another one and it had the same issue. So I even tried washing it, but neoprene just doesn't shrink that well. And it's, it's just like these are just, they're just a tad too big, but it's not a huge concern. And these are the caps that go on the legs. And the reason these are like this is because there's, there's accessories that you can buy to go in there as well. Like they have like a dice tower and then also like a bit tray, um, which is pretty cool. And then here's the top, the, these do interlock. And then like I said, they have magnets, which I think the original version did not, but there's magnets in the top and also in the top of the uh, caps for the legs. So it kind of holds it all together. It's not perfect that there is still some play in it. And you'll see um, one of the things uh, that I show is there's a lot of play in those caps actually. So let's talk about issues. The first one I had was like just the general finish of the stain itself, especially on the tabletop. You can see along these edges, it's just like the stain didn't take in certain spots. So I don't know if there was something on the wood 
it wasn't clean properly there was just or it was just an issue with the stain so i emailed support they sent me uh, these little tubes of the gel stain as for like touch-ups instead of putting it directly on the top I, I tested it on one of the undersides of the posts the legs here i just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to take off any of the finished stain because sometimes when you put stain on top of stain it can do that um, it did not do that um, so i thought it was you know was safe enough to try uh, so I went ahead and tried to put that on those spots. I think the problem is, is like this gel stain also has like a, a clear finish to it or when it dries, it does. Um, or they all, they put a finish over top of it after it's dry. So whatever that imperfection was, it had some kind of finish over top of it, whether that was clear or something else. So this stain just did not penetrate into it and it was not able to fix the issue. Um, so I went back and forth with support a couple of times on that. And they ended up just uh, sending me a new top to replace the problem that I had with the old one. And it wasn't every section. It was just really the middle section that was like that. So it was just really one panel. And it probably just a, an issue with the finishing process on this particular piece. You can see here, I put it on there. I let it dry, wiped it off. And it pretty, pretty much just wiped right off because it just... There wasn't any way for it to absorb into the grain of the wood. I probably could have sanded it a little bit, but I was afraid if I did that, it would make it worse. Um, and you would be able to tell. So again, they sent me a new top, the new one, perfect. Sent the old one back. They did pay shipping after they tried to charge me shipping and I complained about it. They did pay shipping. You can see here the new top, perfect. So the next issue was the, the wobbliness of these caps. I don't know why there's so much play in here, um, but there is. I mean, maybe that it's to make the top easier to get on and off. Uh, what I ended up doing was putting a couple of felt furniture pads in each one of them just to make it a little bit tighter. Because you can see here with all that play, it's easy to separate the, the top panels and you can get these gaps and they just move around way too much for my liking and again personal preference you, most people may be fine with this so these are just like like i said the little furniture pads um that you can buy at a hardware store i doubled them up just to make them thick enough to get as much play as i could out of it but also able to put it in easily so you can see here a lot less play so when the top's on there um it, it's much tighter and then the next issue was the neoprene mat, like I mentioned. Um, you can see here, it just doesn't, it's just not as tight a fit as I wanted. Again, most people may not care. So they did send me a new one. I tried the new one, it wasn't really any better. Um, I tried washing this one, didn't really help it at all either. It, it just kind of like wrinkles up on the edges and in the corners. And um, it's just annoying to me for as much as this table costs. But if they can make those just a tad smaller, they would probably fit perfect and you can see like the wrinkles and, and where it bunches up a little bit here even on the new one um, it's just it, half an inch off of the width and a half an inch off of the total length probably would make it perfect fit So the final issue I had was just, just alignment. You can see here like this, it's just a little bit off, which isn't a huge deal, but that one's like perfect. The other side of this one's perfect. And then the next one you'll see, it's like jutted out a little bit on the bottom. So it's like, it's not flat. Um, and I don't know if it's just when they shipped this, but it could have been out of alignment, but these gold screws are actually what hold the rail onto the bottom piece of the table. So what I did is I just loosened, I took out those gold screws took that entire rail off you have to take off the, the two bolts for each of the legs as well and you can see here when I looked in the channel that was grooved out that fit over that there were still some wood bits in there so I don't know if this wasn't what is allowing it to go flush 
So I cleaned that out, vacuumed it, put it back on, and it, you can see it just kind of like fits down in there a little tighter. And then um, what I did is I tightened the legs up first. So I put in those bolts, kind of lined it up the best that I could, got all of that tightened up, and then put in the rail bolts underneath, uh, which greatly improved the alignment on especially that one corner. And I'm pretty happy with it now. And I don't know really how they can prevent this other than not shipping the rails already attached, but then that's going to require additional assembly. But this was an easy fix once I figured it out and I'm happy with it now. So I just want to say that my interactions with the support team was, it was excellent. Like they were very responsive. Uh, it was mostly over email. Um, I did call once, but they responded to every email within a day, sometimes two, if it was on the weekend or at the end of the week. Um, but you know, I went back and forth with them for several weeks uh, because of all the different issues they had to go through and talk to different departments and things like that but in the end they addressed all my issues they replaced the whole top um they also make matching dining chairs but i didn't want like a traditional dining chair so i just i went with the autonomous ergo chairs because i already had three of them for my podcast desk so i just bought three more and you can still probably fit another person on each of the corners and get 10 total if you really wanted to but uh, i i you know for the longer gaming sessions i wanted a little bit better chair than a, a normal dining chair um you know in the end, would I buy this again? Yeah, I would. It, like the quality is is excellent. The finish, other than the one problem I had with the top, is excellent. The build quality is really really good. As long as you're you know you can adjust that alignment if you have that issue, um, and I, I would definitely buy it again. It is an expensive piece of furniture, but it's something that you can hand down from generation to generation, and you're going to get a lot of use out of it. Uh, we've gotten a lot of use out of it. I've had it for about three and a half months now, and I would definitely buy it again. 